Hi guys, my name is Nisi. Welcome to my channel. For today's DIY, we'll be making a suspension pendant lamp. My sister requested that I make her a rattan style globe light fixture that she can use indoors or outdoors. She gave her backyard a makeover and she loves lots of lights as you can see. Instead of rattan, I used rope and it matches her style well and it matches her space and she loves it. So let me show you how I made this beautiful pendant lamp for an outdoor space. I got all my supplies from the Dollar Tree and the Home Depot. This is a gutter strainer from the plumbing department. And this is a wooden disc from the Dollar Tree. This is my galvanized wire and it's uh, 12 gauge uh, 100 feet long. A wire wreath from the Dollar Tree. And just a regular cut of wood that I cut myself. Um, it's 12 inches wide. And you can substitute that part with anything that's round, a bucket or anything that you can use to bend your wire. And I have a wire cutter. I just straighten my wire and I'm going to use my tile as a guide for the measurement. So I cut each of my wire 16 inches long. Then I use my wood disc to curve the wire. I use my wire cutter to create the hooks on each end. And each time I place the wire in the pliers, I make sure I place it at the same spot so all the hooks can be the same size. And I made 37 of them and I just make sure that they're all matching so each time I keep one on the surface so I can match it with the other. I would say I used up about 50 feet or a little bit more. Now it's time to apply my pieces to the wreath and I place them in the second hook and I use my pliers to tighten them. And there are six sections on this wreath each section will take six and one section will get seven because we need an odd number. So I'm done attaching all the pieces and for each section I just use a rubber band to hold them together so they wouldn't get tangled. Now I want them upright so I'm going to use um, a small zip tie on each one, two small zip ties. I'll overlap each one from the opposite side so it can stay upright.
Then I use my scissors to cut away the pieces of zip ties that are hanging. Now to construct our pendant lamp, I'm going to be using this leftover quarter inch rope that I have. It's a mix of polyester and nylon and I think it's perfect. So I'm going to be using this rope and just watch as I do this, okay? And since this is going to be for the outdoors, I'll be using my strong adhesive. I'm using E6000 and I'm also using my hot glue to help me to hold it as I work. So I'm just weaving my rope in through one or through the next and it's a repetitive process so just keep watching. I'll speed up the video so you don't have to sit and watch the whole process, okay? And this is why we needed that odd one so we can start to loop the rope on the other side. Now they're getting a little close so I'm just going to use my pliers to bend the edges so they can hook upright. So it's time to build our top area and this is where the bulb is going to be holding on to. So we're going to make it nice and strong. I'm going to be using my drill bit, a one inch drill bit, so my socket can go through the hole. I'm going to mark the center of my little piece of wood disc and I'm going to do this outside because I have to clamp it and drill the center. I paint it with a little brown acrylic paint before I put it in place. So I use my staple gun and I staple down the wire to the wood. I placed it right at the edge just leaving that little tip hanging off and that's where I'm going to be hooking my pieces in. It's exactly 37 pieces going all the way around. I'm just reinforcing my staples so they can look neat. and then I'm bending the pieces outward so I can hook them. After hooking a few, then I tighten them from the underside so I can continue with the rest. And I'm just forming the top to how I want it. I'm squeezing the middle so it can have a nice shape. Now it's time to do the design around the wreath form and I'm using my E6000 along with my hot glue as I said 
and I'm just starting the roll from the inside and I'm just going to wrap it. And for this part, I cut my rope into pieces so it will be easier to handle. And the light that she used inside was a solar light. I'll leave the link in the description box for you. So if you'd like to get the same light. And the light is very bright and it actually lasts until about 5 a.m. in the morning. To finish off, I'm going to do a dry brush. I'm going to use brown and gray paint and just um, blend the two together. And I also have a small section left. I want to cover up those hooks at the top. I continued with the dry brush until I was satisfied and then I moved on to finishing the top. And this part can be done immediately after hooking the top onto the base, but I wanted to secure enough rope for the bottom area, so I decided to do this part last. And this is where I cut the rope from, so you would just continue to make your design going all the way around. And that completes our DIY suspension pendant lamp. Please let me know what you think about today's DIY project. 
I appreciate you watching and please remember to give me a thumbs up before you leave and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please go ahead and subscribe so you can get weekly notifications when I upload my new videos. Alright, thank you very much and take care until I talk to you next time. Bye-bye.